I'm working with a document called ParagraphPanel.ai, which is available inside the Chapter 6 folder. And what we want to do is talk about the Paragraph Panel. Now, the Paragraph Panel is fairly straightforward when it comes to working with paragraphs. And chances are, if you want to use the Paragraph Options, you're going to be working with area text opposed to point text. So what I want to do is come over and double click to get a blinking cursor inside this text area. I'm going to select this first paragraph. With this first paragraph selected, I'm going to come over and click the Paragraph tab. Now, if you don't see the tab for the Paragraph panel, you can always come over to the Window menu. And from there, if you come down here towards the bottom, there's a Type area. And in this submenu, you can choose Paragraph. So the first thing that you can see here is we have standard alignment options. You can align to the left, to the center, and to the right. I'm going to come back here and choose align left, but we also have several different justification options. They all justify the key difference is what happens to the last line of text. So here we can choose justify, and you'll notice that the text becomes justified. We can choose the next button, which will continue to justify the text, but it will center align the last line of text. This button will align the last line to the right, and this last button will just justify that last line. So it'll stretch it out quite a bit. I'm going to come over here and choose Justify with Last Line Aligned Left. And what you can do when working with justification is you can choose Hyphenate. Hyphenate will hyphenate words and break them off to the next line of text if it makes for better spacing. Now you do have justification options. In the top right hand corner, you can choose Justification. That will open up a dialog box. And here you can control the word spacing, the minimum, the maximum, and the desired. You can also control letter spacing and glyph scaling. Again, I generally don't recommend scaling the font in any way. But if you wanted to, you could maybe get away with 99% here or maybe 101% here. And if you preview this, you'll see if that makes a difference or not. And you can also adjust the auto letting and also any single word justification. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of that dialog box. You also have some additional options. If we come up to the top right hand corner, from here you can choose hyphenation. If you choose hyphenation, you have essentially options for when the hyphenation will take place. You have words longer than six letters after the first two letters before the last three letters. The hyphenation limit is three hyphens. So there's a lot of different options here. And again, if you choose preview, you can really see what impact this will have. If I adjust this to four and tap away from it, you'll notice it doesn't have an impact in this case. We could type in after the first four letters, meaning we need at least four letters within the word. And again, that won't make a difference. And then we have before last three letters, meaning we need at least three letters at the end of the hyphenation. So all these options really give you a lot of fine grain control over how this justification will appear. Finally, what I also want to talk about in this menu is an option of single line composer or every line composer. Basically what this will do is determine how Illustrator evaluates the justification. Right now it's set to single line composer, meaning Illustrator is looking at one single line as it performs the justification. Whereas if you choose every line composer, it will take a look at the paragraph as a whole. And if it deems necessary, it will take words or letters from one line of text and place them on the other. You generally get better results with the every line composer. And when you select it, you can see that that's the case. However, if you're manually adding breaks to your paragraphs, you want to avoid every line composer and work with the single line composer. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it set to every line composer. And what we want to do is take a look at some of these final options here in the paragraph panel. To do that, I'm going to highlight the selection tool so the entire text area is highlighted. You'll notice you have options to indent the text. And as you increase this, you'll notice you're adding space over here on the left side. You can do the same thing on the right side. Here you have the ability to add a first line indent. So the first line is indented. You'll also notice over here towards the bottom, you can control spacing before paragraphs and also after paragraphs. So in this case, it kind of looks the same because we only have two paragraphs. But really, 
these little icons here are illustrating where the space is being added. So the paragraph panel gives you control over what your paragraphs will look like inside of Illustrator.